Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if it happens to be your very first time here with me on this channel and thank you all so much for being here and sharing this time and space with me today or tonight whenever you're watching. So before we get started, I'm letting you know I am still giving personal readings right now and if you're interested, all you have to do is send me an email to the email address down below in the description box and we'll talk about rates, availability, all those good things. So with that out of the way, what are we doing in today's video? We're going to be doing a fun little pick a card to see what positive changes are coming your way. We're just going to be talking about the good, positive, amazing things that you are aligning to, that you are attracting, that you are manifesting. So with that being said, let's get into your group selection here. We've got three groups today. I have shuffled all the cards ahead of time this time. We've got group one with Rhodonite. Beautiful. We've got group two with some black moonstone. We love our moonstones here. And last but not least, we have Chrysoprase. Group three. <laughs> All right, so as always, this is a general reading, so make sure to take what resonates, leave what does not, and if you need more time to meditate on the cards and the crystals, to choose a group or groups that resonate most with you, feel free to pause, take some deep breaths, take as much time as you need, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started with group one. Hello, group one, those of you who chose the road tonight, let's see what positive changes are coming your way. Okay, so I wonder if you're already expecting some of these or if they're like completely out of nowhere for some of you. <laughs> but we're going to start with your oracle cards and we have good cheer with kind heart and humor free. May good cheer rule, so mode it be. That's beautiful to start with a feeling. Like we can definitely get some more details that come through. But at the end of the day, like if we want this thing, <clears throat> is that for that thing or is that for security? If we want this thing or this person to come through, is that for that specific thing or is that for the feeling that's along with it? Maybe it's both, <laughs> but I do feel that at least part of it for everyone is like also the feeling. Like we wouldn't want something if it didn't make us feel good, if there wasn't some kind of thing we were aligning to that. And I'm feeling that we'll see what else is in this group, but I do feel like maybe for some of you, it starts with aligning or thinking about the feeling. Like, does this make me feel good? What's gonna make me feel good? What's gonna make me feel happy? And then going after that in each moment. And I know that's easier said than done. That can be something that takes time, but I'm seeing you aligning to that. So for some of you, maybe you're already dealing with this. <laughs> As I just said, like maybe some of you, it's like you've already started this journey. Um, maybe some of you, you see good cheer and it makes you realize there's some area where you're not feeling good, where you're not feeling super happy, cheery, happy-go-lucky, as you would like to. So you're kind of flipping that around, you're changing that, you're bringing things, people, actions, thoughts, music, and art that makes you happy, that lights you up, that makes each day something to celebrate. That's what I'm seeing is like kind of making each day something to celebrate. And for you, I'm, I'm hearing it that way, I'm hearing making it that way. You're gonna be really proud that you've made these changes. I'm gonna shift these back a little, <laughs> just so when the time comes, we actually have room <clears throat> for our tarot cards. So your next card is love. Okay, that makes sense. I said people. <laughs> Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. So this is not just romance, but if you've been wondering about romance, if you've been wondering if, I can definitely see this spread already for like, those who are in a relationship versus those who are wanting love or those who aren't even interested in romance because we just have good cheer and love okay so <laughs> these are things that are are not super tangible already so it's like how do you want this to manifest the feeling of good cheer and the feeling of love so people are going to be aligning to that you're going to be aligning to that um you're not going to be dealing with people who you're not sure how they feel about you. You're not sure if they love you. You're not sure if they even appreciate you or want to be around you. You're going to be very confident that the people around you and the choices that you're making are aligning with 
is this making me feel good? Is this positive for me? Is this leading me in the direction I want to go? And so your mood is very, very good. I can't like diagnose people if there's like something else going on <clears throat> that you struggle with, but I can say that your mood is like pretty stable and pretty good and you feel like you're surrounded by love. The timing is going to be different. I know that's frustrating for some people when I don't give a time and date, but with these general readings, the timing is just going to be different. Again, some of you might be well on this journey. Some of you are in a relationship. Some of you are not in a relationship. Some of you don't even want a relationship. So you can see how the timing is way different for different people. But the beautiful thing is I feel you aligning to those feelings, aligning to self-love and aligning to making choices that make you happy pretty quickly. Like you'll watch this reading and be like, I want to start doing that. That's beautiful. That sounds great. I should start doing that. <laughs> And you deserve to feel good, group one. If no one told you that today, this month, this year, this lifetime, you deserve to feel good. You deserve to feel love. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of feeling happy, okay? Ooh, knowledge. I love this card. <laughs> Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. So this is on the one hand, like divine knowledge, as it says, let the knowledge of ancestors flow. If there was some kind of piece of information in alignment with this, like, should I be with this person? Should I align with this person? Should I even be looking for a relationship right now? If you're worried about how you would be in a relationship, is this going to make me happy? How can I be happy? I'm seeing your ancestors helping you with that. Or if you align with like spirit guides or just spirit, the universe in general, whatever you work with, whatever you believe in, I am feeling some kind of divine intervention here if you believe in that. Because <laughs> um, this could also come from like self-help books or relationship books or some kind of book that makes you happy because I was seeing like the arts for a lot of you, but this could also be something that makes you happy whether you know it or not. I'll say that. This might be a time to try something new. Try to learn about something new. Learn about some other kind of culture. Learn about some other kind of spirituality. Whether you choose to go into that mode of spirituality or not i'm feeling that learning about other things like maybe you have sagittarius somewhere <laughs> in your chart and you just like to learn about different cultures learn about different things everyone has sagittarius somewhere in their chart <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that but you know what i mean that big energy beautiful very curious very expansive that's what i'm feeling for you this is a time of being really curious really expansive um Let's see what comes next. If you are wondering if you should go after some kind of new knowledge, learn something new, maybe for career, it definitely could be just for like self-help and living a better life. But specifically, if you needed to hear like to take that leap, I can't make any decisions for you. But if you wanted to like go back to school, if you wanted to learn a new skill or trade, that's really indicated here. Okay, and we have wisdom. You have knowledge and wisdom. So my goodness, you must be some pretty smart people, <laughs> group one. On a Wednesday with a waxing moon, let wisdom come and be renewed. So I really do feel like there's kind of some seeds of wisdom and knowledge being planted. I know you're, you're very intelligent on your own, group one, but I do feel that if you're feeling called to go after something new or dive further with something you already know, like, for instance, if you're like a reader or something and you're just learning more and more, you're learning new modes of divination, you're learning new ways of going deeper with that, um, getting into new states of being. And this is beautiful, but these are all pretty intangible, aren't they? Group one, <laughs> that's something. So I feel like this starts with the curiosity. This starts with the feeling. This starts with the feeling of love, good cheer, what's making me happy. What do I feel inspired to do? And when we get into your tarot cards, that makes a lot of sense. I said, is there some Sag energy <laughs> going on? Because we have the Knight of Wands. So there is a lot of expansion. There is a lot of curiosity and a lot of passion going on for you. That's what you're attracting. So keep leaning into that because that's really divinely guided for you right now to lean into your passion, to go after what's lighting you up. I mean, I would give that advice generally. <laughs> to each their own, but that can really, really get us in a place where we're at least feeling good. No matter what's going on, um, 
if you have that strong foundation, when big things happen, it's not going to shake you as much. Not that you won't be affected by life, <laughs> but if you're a generally happy person and you feel love from within and you're going after things that make you happy, you at least have that foundation. We also have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I'm feeling that communication is going to be really good as well. Communication is going to be really good as well. We have a lot of passion and communication. So you could be having really good conversations with people about what you love, about who you love. If there's a new partner coming in, like definitely if you're in a relationship or wanting one, this is like the honeymoon phase coming back in. Like there's a lot of passion, if you know what I mean. Like if you're into the physical stuff, that looks pretty good. And it looks like there's a lot of that as well. <laughs> I don't know, like, a, um, I'm trying to put that in, like, a PG way, <laughs> but I'm also feeling like there's that mental stimulation here in your relationships with knowledge and wisdom. I'm feeling that you're, if you're confused about which way to go in some way, like, maybe career, maybe school, if you're someone who's in school or wants to go back, or just how you want to, like, live your life, if you want to shake things up, if you want to mix it up, and I'm feeling that other people that's why i'm hearing like other people other cultures other ways of being other like lifestyles like dipping your toes in lots of them and learning what i'm not talking about appropriation i'm talking about like appreciation and learning from different kinds of people and saying like what does that say about me like how do i want to live my life because we also have the two of ones so it's all fire it's all willpower passion drive energy. So if you've been feeling a lack of energy, and we start with that good cheer and love, my goodness, group one, so no wonder you're going to be feeling like you have more energy, because if you're feeling like you're just in a better state of being, well, yeah, <laughs> you're going to be feeling more on your A game. You're going to be feeling like you are at your best. I'm feeling that there's, there's a good amount of planning here. So even if you have like career, like you feel like it's set in stone, there's like some new element that you're bringing in that's just like the vision of it changes. Now, because I don't want to say that everyone's changing career or that everyone's changing their major in school or that everyone's completely moving somewhere new, but I, I am feeling that your approach at the very least is going to be changing where you are able to feel like you are much happier to be going where you're going. So if that involves having a little like transition into something new. Like if you really do not like where you are, I could see you aligning to some more new. And this could involve, like I said, like learning a new trade, getting a new major, something like that. Bringing in something new, going after what makes you happy. So if you're already somewhere that makes you like really, really happy, this would just be like leveling that up to the next level, feeling even better, feeling even more passionate, rekindling that. It's just the same energy of what I said with the relationships. Um, if there's someone new, it's that honeymoon phase. You're super excited. There's great communication. You're getting inspired. But if you're already in a relationship, we're rekindling that. So something is being kindled or rekindled and it's this beautiful fire that's very passionate, very exciting, but also it's, it's really inspiring and it's like... <laughs> It's like full of wisdom as well. Like you're learning from other people, you're learning from books, you're learning from art and music. I feel that you could even be like, this feels like a spiritual fire lit within you. Like you could be like meditating a lot about what you're curious about, meditating a lot on what does love even mean to me? Do I want a physical love? Do I want a relationship? Do I want to date one person? Do I want marriage? Things like that. I'm, I'm seeing you getting like really philosophical about it. So you're going to be learning a lot from yourself and others, group one. I love that for you. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Hello, group two. Those of you who chose the black moonstone, let's see what positive changes are coming your way. We were already off <laughs> to a wild start with group one. Okay, so group two, we've got trust. I am safe, I am secure, in love I trust, my faith endures. So I know it says in love. So we'll start with that. In your relationships, there's going to be a lot of trust. And this, of course, can come from within. Like if you know you have some issues regarding trust, 
we can work on that. That's beautiful, that's amazing. But also sometimes it helps when people are showing us that they are trustworthy. <laughs> and that's what I'm seeing for you. If you've been waiting for someone to show that they're trustworthy or hoping that you can meet trustworthy people, like believe that that's, I, I know this will be baffling to some people unless you've experienced this, but that's not important to some people to be trustworthy. So if you were hoping that you could meet people who share that value with you, that there should be trust, honesty, openness in relationships, then also maybe for some of you this is in regards to career. If you feel like there's sneakiness at work, unfortunately. I don't want to dwell on that too long, but if you're experiencing it, let's reflect on that. Um, if you feel like your boss is not trustworthy, is just waiting for the opportunity to replace you even though you work hard. It's like you're aligning with somewhere and someone and a group of people who they're not hiding some secret thing where they're just waiting to replace you, where they're just waiting to um, find the next person who's more exciting or something. I'm feeling like people who see your value and share your values. They want trust as the foundation of relationships. But you're also trusting in yourself. You're trusting in your own abilities. So if you feel like the reason you haven't gone after something, the reason you haven't gone after love, the reason you haven't gone after a new like job or promotion, asked for more money at work or something, is because you haven't trusted in your abilities, this could, again, be coming from within, but also you could be proving to yourself gradually, hey, I'm good at this, I'm worthy, I can do this, I can do these things, <clears throat> I can go far and make things happen. So <clears throat> what is next? We have abundance. Goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. <clears throat> All right. So I said this could be aligning with work, we have abundance here. That can totally be a process. I know people love to talk about like abundance mindset and just take those leaps of faith and just go for it. But that is allowed to be a process, group two. All right, group two, thank you for your patience while I got a drink of water to fix my scratchy voice. So goddess of abundance divine, yes. So we can just start with that as it is, less about the aligning and the mindset. But if you've been working hard, <laughs> if you've been trying to align to abundance, if you've been putting out all this effort, beautiful intentions, and that's something you want, whether that's a feeling, an abundance of love, an abundance of trust, an abundance of friends, or if that's just more like, <clears throat> I've been wanting money abundance, I need money abundance, I have to pay my bills, then that's just a like point blank period. There's abundance coming your way. That's coming to you. The effort that you're putting out, the energy you're putting out, the intention you're putting out, to attract more money and abundance, it's coming. And so that's what I was feeling with that kind of as within, so without, but sometimes it can help to see something externally. Maybe you've been working on, I wish I could trust that that abundance would flow. I wish I could trust that the universe, spirit, whatever would provide. You might be getting a little something that helps you to lean into that feeling. You might be getting something that helps you to align more and trust more. We have prosperity. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this probably has to do with abundance, your lifestyle. As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. <laughs> so wow, this trust may also be in like yourself and your spirituality. If you feel like you're trying to really align your life with um, your greatest and highest good with your purpose and trying to have like a um, all around like spiritually led life and to be able to trust in that look I know <laughs> you can look within look within look within and do all that inner work all that meditation all that spiritual work but then at the end of the day it can really help when you have that external confirmation and that's what I'm seeing for you is like um maybe you feel like you haven't had that and that's coming through and you're feeling like it's so hard to trust if there's no evidence like i get it like i've been there group too i'm not just saying this from a pedestal where i've never had hard times trust me um i'm feeling that for you is if you've been working really hard on yourself and trying really hard to trust and saying i'm, I'm making these moves 
I'm making these changes and I'm trying to trust, but my goodness, could you throw me a little something <laughs> so I can see that I'm on the right track? That's what I'm seeing is like, there's more, group one felt very spiritual, very energetic. It was a lot about the feeling and I could see that manifesting in many different ways. For you, I feel like there's physical signs coming through. There's money coming through. There's like items or gifts or physical signs. Like maybe that's animal signs, but I'm feeling something tangible. Something, someone says something to you like, you're amazing at this and you've never received that compliment before. Um, a partner comes through because we have abundance and prosperity that doesn't have to be about money. I just know like we live in the world <laughs> and most of us need money to survive. So most of us, it's probably about money and that is totally fine. But if this is about relationships, like you want more friends, you want to feel like there's an abundance of love, trust, and just support. I'm feeling like if you feel like you need support from someone, and that doesn't mean you want them to pay for all your stuff. That means like, can you support me in my dreams? <laughs> can you help me when I'm feeling down and I do the same for you? Like it feels like reciprocating that energy in your relationships and you're feeling that, and I, I guess this makes sense, but it feels like it's kind of a mirror image, like your relationship with the universe and your relationships in your relationships with other people, whether that's romantic, whether that's friends, whether that's with yourself, it's, look, I know that sounds kind of cheesy to some people and I just can't, I can't care. <laughs> like, that's just what's coming through and that feels really beautiful, that feels really divine, that the energy of trust in yourself, of others, in your spirituality, in your ability to create and craft your own life is growing because that can be so difficult. And we have passion, oh. <laughs> rise passion, rise up high, inflame my purpose, reach the sky. Okay, so again, passion can really relate to relationships, but that can also talk about with yourself. So for you, just like group one, I'm seeing this feeling of passion, and then do with that what you will. <laughs> it's a beautiful fire, it's a beautiful flame. But for you, it feels really like you're passionate in your relationships, you're passionate about your spirituality, you're trusting in it. And I feel like that to you, like that trust, that um, having some proof, having some tangible proof is helping you to be more passionate. It's helping you to go after your passion. You like, it's, I'm getting like some, some earthy energy mixed in with that fire. Like maybe you've got like an earth moon or something. You've just got prominent earth energy in your chart. And you feel like, yeah, where's the, where's the proof though? Like, <laughs> I can trust, I can lean into that fire, I can go with my passion, but I, I want to feel safe doing that. And so I feel you're getting that tangible proof, you're getting that money, that prosperity, and that trust in relationships and yourself to go after your passion. So this could also be if you're wanting to like do your passion as your career and make money with that, you're learning to trust in your abilities enough. You're learning to trust in your ability to attract that abundance and to make that money. <laughs> like, let's call it what it is to go after your passion. And for some of you, that could be something you ease in. Some of you, it's like, okay, I'm going to take a 100% leap of faith. Just do with that what you will. Everyone's in a different situation. We've got the high priestess. Wow. So this does come from like an inner knowing. You have a really deep intuition. This trust is definitely... <laughs> I talked about it being like spiritual based as well, like at the root. Um, but here we have that confirmation again. You, the things that manifest, I can tell 100% now. Um, I was wondering, are these going to be things that you're expecting or are these going to be kind of out of the blue? <laughs> For you, this is something that you know. You already know that you're aligning to these things. You already feel connected to these things. You already have a vision. Your intuition is already telling you. If not now, you could even be seeing these cards and being like, oh my God, this is what I'm passionate about or I'm going to start this journey now. You are going to feel aligned to these things before they come in. 
Um, your intuition knows it's coming in. I know that sounds a little out there for some of you. Others of you are like, yes, that's, that's how I work. That's how I live. <laughs> that's what I do. I have this knowing and even if it's hard to trust sometimes, I still go because I know I'm passionate about it for a reason. I know I'm drawn to it for a reason. Ooh, and you've got strength, yes. So sometimes we have to be patient. Sometimes we have to keep going. I'm seeing that as like your central energy. That's what most of you are already doing. If this is a new journey for you, I'm just letting you know this might not all happen at once. This might not all come within like the next week. Like you have the seed of an idea, you start it, and then you make a million dollars in the first week of your business. If if you do that, that's amazing, you know. <laughs> but that's just not how it works for most people, let's be honest. I'm not going to sugarcoat that just to like lie and make you feel better about my reading. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's paying off. Whether that's in a week, in a month, in a year, that depends on your personal journey and what you're going after and how how niche that is, how difficult that is to achieve. Um, but pretty much with you, like if you're intuitively led, I'm feeling like the sky is the limit and you're going to start trusting that. You're going to start trusting that. The sky might not even be the limit. You're going further out into the cosmos. You're going after the stars. You are quite literally shooting for the stars, having high expectations of yourself and others, having appropriate expectations. You could say high expectations, but I don't want you to feel like you have too many expectations of other people, um, especially if that expectation is trust. Let's go back to your first card. <laughs> if you've been intuitively feeling like, I'm, I'm not sure I trust this person. What now? Uh, maybe dive into why that is. I'll say that because I'm not going to plant the seeds of mistrust in a relationship. That's just if you've been feeling that, just communicate about that. You know, if this is something little, that doesn't mean that a relationship has to end. But if you want that foundation of trust and it's not there, figure out if that's coming from you. Uh, maybe the way you were raised, something like that, or if that's coming from them, if that's coming from the way the people around you are acting or internal. And we've got the Page of Cups here. <laughs> I feel like with the Page of Cups coming next to passion, very interestingly enough, I felt a bit of a honeymoon phase if this is in regards to relationships with the last group, <laughs> but that's really nice to have it come through with more than one group. Group two, this feels like very emotionally tender though. Like that passion and emotion for you really is going hand in hand where we have like an emotional tenderness in a relationship or in your friendships. <laughs> now I'm not saying you're like doing those kinds of things with your friends unless that's what you do. That's, you know, you do your thing. <laughs> but I'm feeling like when there's passion in your friendships, it's, it's just a different kind. Like you can bounce beautiful ideas off of each other you're passionate about like going out and doing fun things with them. You're supporting each other. You're trusting each other. You want to see them thriving. I feel like you're attracting people that you want to see them thrive and they want to see you thrive. It's not this weird, you achieve something and there's jealousy. I feel like you are way past that as far as what you're aligning to. You, you just don't have room for that anymore. So if people want to stay with you, they're really gonna have to grow where they can be happy for you because these things are coming through for you. So if someone comes at you with some kind of jealousy when that starts to happen, they're gonna have to figure that out. I'll just say it that way. They're gonna have to figure that out because if you are really diving into this and you feel happier than ever, you feel passionate and you trust in what you're doing, if all someone's doing is coming at you, not with like, you know, realistic questions just because they're curious and they want to make sure that you're doing the right thing and you have that kind of relationship. But if their questions are more judgmental, that's a them problem. All right. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group two. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Hello, group three. Last but not least, those of you who chose the Chrysopraise, let's see what positive changes are coming your way. So we're starting with your oracle cards. We have success. <laughs> this feels like it's like running off of group two. Okay, we have success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor, integrity. So we'll start with that. You've got a lot of green. <laughs> so much like group two, I'm seeing if abundance 
money, attracting success has been something that's a struggle for you, that's going to start flowing a lot easier. And I love that that's come through from multiple groups because I just know that can be so hard and that can be a big concern for many people to have that security, but also to feel successful. So with that, I wanted to start with the more like, <laughs> you know, the more in your face definition of that success. Like most people, they want and need some money, they need some abundance, you gotta pay your bills, things like that. I'm seeing that for you. Um, the money situation could be improving a lot. Um, but with success, that could also be if you've struggled with other people kind of defining your success, you really sitting down and saying, what does success mean to me? Am I happy doing what I'm doing? Do I love myself? Am I a good person by whatever definition, mine, other people's? Are the people in my life supporting me? You're having a more like well-rounded success. I'm not seeing this just school, just work, just business. Um, this is like if you have some kind of role in your life, like as a partner, you want to be a good parent. You want to be a good um, sibling, friend. I'm seeing that you're going to be feeling successful at whatever. Like you wear many hats. All of us wear many, many hats, stylish hats, <laughs> hats that we have to wear you're gonna be feeling like you are succeeding in a more all around thing, um, spiritually even. If you feel like you've been trying to learn new techniques, if you've been trying to work on meditation, you've been trying to like lucid dream or something, you're gonna be having a time where the things that you're putting the most focus on, I'll say that because this can be a process in some other areas, but the things that you're putting a lot of energy and a lot of intention into, the things that are mattering most to you, you're going to be feeling successful. So of course, we talked about the money, we talked about the abundance, but a lot of that is also coming from you defining that success. I know that sounds cheesy. I said that to group two, but that's how it is. <laughs> if other people are saying, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do that to be successful, start questioning that. That's what I'm seeing. Like if you um, just take that at face value every time, like your parents say you have to do this, um, the world says to be successful, you've got to make this amount of money. If you don't care about that, then don't care about that. If you don't need that, then don't need that. But if you do and you say that has value to me, then go after that. This is about you thinking, what has value to me? What does success mean? And I'm going to go after that. If that is mostly like just coming from being the person I want to be <laughs> to each their own. But if this is like just from within, you define success as I'm going to be the best person I want to be or that's part of it, then you are successful. You might have other areas where you want to be doing more, you want to be making more. But if that's your definition of success, then you are successful, group three. <laughs> Beautiful. We have divine guidance. Whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. I love when this happens, like group three, I'm feeling like there's group two in you, there's group one in you. So if you had a hard time picking, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that is why I group three. So I'm feeling like there's messages from your ancestors, there's messages from above that are helping you shape this idea of what is success, what is happiness. Um, but I'm also feeling like you've got a really strong intuition. So as I said, like if this is like something spiritual, like you've been like, I want to be able to do readings. I want to um, hone my mediumship abilities. I want to talk to past on loved ones or um, like spirit guides, ancestors, things like that. There's a lot of guidance coming from above. You're going to be connecting with that. And that's helping you to like, I don't want to say choose your path, but choose your path, <laughs> helping you to choose maybe how to walk on that path. Because, uh, you know, I read from a place of free will, so I'm not saying, like, they're choosing things for you. But if you're wondering, is, is this the right thing to do? Is this where I should be going? Um, should I be attracting this? Is this what's meant for me? Is this what's good for me? Then they're helping you with that. Your intuition is really strong, and your intuition is going to be really helpful for you right now. Okay, we have fertility. Let all take root, seed and sprout, let new life be all about. I do not predict pregnancies. <laughs> if that worried you, do what you need to do, um, you know, regarding that. But I don't really read on that. <laughs> so for fertility for me, we have fertility, success. This is reading like 
the energy of planting the seeds that you want to plant. And this comes from, again, like, how are you defining that success? Plant those seeds and they will sprout. That's what I'm seeing. You're planting these seeds in fertile soil. Much like group two, I feel that for some of you, this depends on what stage you're at and what this project is. If this is a business and you can start it and you can start going now, then of course, there might not be that much patience involved. But if this is something that takes time, you've got to build up clientele, things like that, of course, there could be patience. Just think of different plants. Different plants, you plant them, they sprout. Others, they have a season. So just keep that in mind when you're defining that success as well. If something takes time, that does not make you a failure. I want to say that again because that resonated like really hard. Like some of you might really need to hear if something takes time, that does not mean you're a failure and that doesn't mean it's not right for you. That does not make you a failure, group three. Okay. And that's what I'm seeing for you as you're planting those seeds in fertile soil. And we have beauty. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. So this is not about the beauty standard. <laughs> but just like we're defining success, and I know some of you are going to be like, you're just like, <laughs> you're full of it success, beauty, there's no way. <laughs> this couldn't be my reading. Look, if that's hard for you to believe that you'd be feeling beautiful, <laughs> that just shows how much you're growing. If it's hard for you to believe that you could be successful, that just shows how much you're growing. If you are someone who really, and I know it's hard. I know in a lot of places, societies can really push their beauty standard and say, you are not beautiful if you don't look like this. But look, if you start defining that for yourself and that's shining what's within out, I am beautiful inherently, that's something I believe. And people have a hard time believing that that's what I believe. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying everyone is attracted to everyone, but I believe everyone is beautiful. I believe the only reason we think some people aren't is because we just have those seeds planted in our head. So start defining what's beautiful for you. Start doing, if you need like mirror affirmations, if you need to tell yourself every day, I'm beautiful, I'm worthy, I'm successful, I can plant these seeds, I am divinely guided, then start doing that. I'm feeling maybe for some of you, this is um, affirmations. We've got the queen of wands. You are growing in confidence. You're going after your passion. Again, we, we have a, a, a similar stream going through all the readings today. We've, we've had that fire, that passion, that drive coming through. But that's beautiful. I love that. I love that the collective is apparently aligning to that, or at least the collective I'm reading for right now, where you aren't going to be afraid to be seen in whatever capacity that is. If that's like you're starting to market yourself on social media, or that's you go on a date without makeup, something like that. Like I just heard that for some of you. If you you know, if that aligns with you, if that resonates, <laughs> I know not everyone wears makeup. And, you know, for some people, it's just like, that's my creative expression. I don't wear makeup, so I don't really know much <laughs> about it. But yeah, I'm feeling you're being creative. You're being passionate. That aligns so well with fertility. Okay. Again, I don't predict. <laughs> I don't, I don't really predict pregnancies. Okay. So let's see what we have next. We've got the Ace of Swords. You're having a lot of divinely inspired ideas. I feel that a lot of you like maybe clairsentient, claircognizant, where you just get these divinely inspired ideas and you get these like messages that just come in. You're like, where did that come from? So you could be learning how to discern your intuition from like your own thoughts as well. I'm really feeling that for a lot of you when I said success in regards to something spiritual. I'm really feeling like you're honing your abilities with this queen of wands. Don't, don't downplay that. You've got some really strong abilities here. You've got some strong spiritual abilities and just more like earthly abilities. Your creativity, your passion, it shines through. It's something that people are attracted to. You're going to be feeling very attractive in the energetic sense as well as the physical sense. We talked about that beauty. I know that's hard for some people, so I won't dwell on the physical beauty aspect. If that resonates with you, take that, go with it, thrive. <laughs> but you're going to be feeling very attractive. I can attract the things I want. I'm feeling worthy of these things and feeling very like mentally stimulated. I'm feeling like very mentally stimulated. I got that a lot 
with group two. So I'll just say if that resonates, if you want to learn something new, don't be afraid to go after that. If that's a new skill or if that's diving further into something you already work on, go after it. It could be about receiving messages. It could be about creativity. It could be about a, a new business. But we've got the seven of cups here. Okay, so I want to leave you with this. If you are used to not having choices in some area of your life, that's what I'm seeing. You're having the gift of choice. You're having the gift of making choices. So if, uh, I know, I know, I can feel some of you like, oh my God, but I'm not good at making decisions. So if making decisions is hard for you, I would say start, start working on that now because there's gonna be some decisions ahead. You are going to feel like you have choices in life. If you felt like in some area, You've always just had to take what you can get. You know, that's amazing. I bet you're a really resourceful person, but now you get to take all those strengths and you get to choose what direction to go. Um, you're taking these divinely inspired ideas, but you'll get to a fork in the road and you're gonna say, which way do I go? Which way is right? And the universe is gonna say, it's which one you choose. That is the case sometimes where we say, which one is right? Which one is right? And spirit says, it's the one you choose. So that's really what I'm seeing here. And it might not even just be like a two fork in the road. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven <laughs> um, different paths in the road. So, and it's because you have, look, that queen of wands, she's a very skilled person. She has a lot of passions. And when you, when you put your passion into something, that's what makes it the fertile soil. Like what I'm seeing here, I said, I'll leave you with this, but what I'm seeing here is this image of somehow, magically, you have this magic about you with your, your creative essence. That's what it is. It's because you have that, that energy of like fertile soil. When you plant the seed, that's like what makes it fertile. Like that's just what I'm seeing. <laughs> and again, I'm not talking about body wise. I don't really talk about that. But it's like energetically, creatively, when you are like, um, working on a project or something, it's like you, the way that you water this, the way that you tend to this garden is what makes it successful. Someone else could do the same thing with a very different energy and it wouldn't really work out, but it's the energy you put into it. It's your skill. It's what you are bringing to the table that makes this special, that makes this like something that could work. All right, so that's what I have for you, group three. Thank you so, so much, and I'll see you next time.